Well, let me give you a couple of notices for this week. Uh, as usual in this period, it's very, very simple. Um, our online Digging Deeper groups will be meeting again uh, this week on Tuesday and Wednesday evenings. Uh, please do uh, join one of those uh, if you would like to, but you don't have the details, do get in touch with us. And you're very welcome to join one of those groups as we seek to dig into God's Word together. Just give you a, an advance notice that next week we will be holding a Zoom members meeting on the 9th of June instead of digging deeper groups. Uh, we will, let me assure you, be getting in touch with those who are unable to use Zoom separately. So they're not left out of the loop. Uh, but it'd be good to come together as members of the church uh, and to uh, discuss some, some matters of business, to help us keep moving forward, uh, to share news. And of course, there will be another virtual service available next Sunday on our YouTube channel, uh, access to the website, or all the usual places. Now I'm going to hand over to Christine, who has another lockdown lesson uh, for the children and the young people. Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you're well and that you've had a good week. I still miss seeing you, but it's been lovely to see the pictures that you've sent in this week. I see some of you have been out for beautiful walks and some of you have played in your gardens with water. Some of you have even been camping in your lounge. That looked really good fun. I see someone has made an amazing cake. And also I see that someone lost a tooth this week. Goodness me, what a week you've had. I hope whatever you've been doing that you're keeping well and that you're really safe. We've been learning, haven't we, over the last few weeks, things that I have learned during lockdown. And I wonder if you can remember what they are. The first one was that God sees everything. The second one was that God hears every time we speak to him. And the third one was last week, and that was how God never ever sleeps. Well, I've got one more thing that I would just love to share with you while we've been locked down. Next week, we're going to do something a little bit different, but one more thing I'd like to share. Have you noticed in your garden, there are lots of birds? Do you know, while we've been locked down, there's been less traffic. And so I think I've been more aware of the birds singing. That made me watch them more. And it's been beautiful to see all the birds in my garden. I don't know the names of all of them, but it's been lovely to watch them. Lynn and Alan have got a bird box in their garden and they have been able to video something amazing that happened this week. It was just beautiful to see. And then later in the day, when Lynn shared this with us on Tuesday, she was able to text us and say that the little birds had flown from their nest. Isn't that beautiful? And look at these lovely pictures that Lynn and Alan have shared with us. Do you know, that has reminded me how wonderful God is and how God cares for and provides for these birds. Do you know, often we worry, don't we? We worry about this and we worry about that. And actually at the moment, it feels like there's lots of things to be worried and concerned about. But Jesus says to us, do not worry. And in the Bible, there are some amazing verses and there's lots of times that Jesus says, don't worry. And this is the verse I'd like to share with you today. It's from Matthew chapter six and it's verse 26. It says this, look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you more valuable to him than they are? Do you know, when I heard the birds and when I watched the birds, it really reminded me that they are very valuable to God. God provides everything that they need. And you know, it says here in the Bible that we are even more valuable to God than those birds. And we need to remember that because especially at the moment, there is a chance that we could worry about lots of things. And I would love you to hold on to the fact that Jesus said, don't worry, because he's providing for the birds and he's gonna provide even more for us. That is such a wonderful thing for us to remember. And I would love you this week to hold on to that 
and not to worry about anything, but to pray to God about the things that you're concerned about and to know that he sees everything, that he hears everything, that he never sleeps and he has got you in his hands. We sing an amazing song at Diggers, I love it. And I really miss singing together, so I'm hoping that we'll have the opportunity to do that really soon. But we sing, don't we, about God and that he is a great big God. And I think we need to hold on to that and remember that and to remember that he's known us and he's loved us since before the world began and that we're part of his wonderful plan and that we can talk to him. And if we're worried about anything, we can talk to him about that and then not worry because we're leaving that with God. So this week, I would love you again to send in your pictures. More than that, I would love you not to worry. I would love you to remember that God's got you in his hands and I will look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, lots of love, bye. Well, before we go to our next song, let's spend some time praying again. Let's bring ourselves uh, and the needs that we uh, have on our hearts to the Lord. Let's pray. Our Father, we have such freedom given to us to be able to bring all our burdens and lay them at, our, at your feet share every moment of and every detail of our lives with you which we want to thank you for and we recognize uh, even in this time of crisis when there are so many things uh, pressing for our attention perhaps and weighing our hearts down we recognize that through it all actually our greatest need remains the same uh, that we need jesus and so we pray above all else that our aim and our focus would remain fixed firmly there. That during this time we would grow in our relationship with the Lord Jesus. That we get, may get to know you better through him. And we pray, Father, for those who do not know you. And we pray that this would be a time when they would stop and face up to these ultimate realities, ask those biggest questions, and have opportunity to find answers. And so, Father, we pray that we would be able to testify in all these ways that even through this time you've been doing great things for us. We would ask for opportunities to share this great good news that you've given to us in the days ahead of us. We ask, Father, that we may be able to uh, share the hope that Christ has given to us with those around us, even though we don't see so many people. We ask that you would open up doors of opportunity. We pray, too, that you would watch over our life as a church community. Uh, would you guard and preserve our unity and our love uh, even when we can't physically gather Father would you enable us to keep on uh, developing and growing uh, bonds of love uh, between ourselves Father we pray too for the Oasis English Language School our prayer focus for this week we thank you so much for the work that they do here in Ipswich, uh, working with migrants and refugees. Father, we pray for your uh, wisdom for them as they must uh, face difficult questions over when and how they will be able to reopen their doors. We pray that they'll be able to restart in September and that their students would return keen to learn more. You give them wisdom in the, perhaps the practical measures, working out what social distancing may look like uh, in that situation. And we pray, Father, that as the students grow in their ability to understand English, there'll be opportunity too to share the hope that uh, the staff there have in the Lord Jesus with them. We pray, Father, that we will see people from all over the world joining your great global multi-ethnic family as a result of the work of the Oasis School. Oh, 
Father, we pray for individuals in need as well. We lift up to you those who are isolated, those who are lonely, those who are sick, those who are bereaved, those struggling with, with other needs, perhaps needs even unknown to us. We commend them to you. We thank you that you know all things. And that though we are unable to meet one another, you are always able to be present with us. May that hope, may that reality, strengthen your struggling people at this time, we pray. And Father, we must pray for our leaders too in our nation. They face so many difficult decisions. Father, we pray for wisdom. We pray for clarity. Uh, we pray for increasing, increasing understanding of, uh, of the science behind what's going on. That wise and good strategies may be developed. And Father, we pray for a uh, political life in this country that is driven by concerns of truth and love and justice and righteousness. So we commend our leaders to you, asking that you grant them wisdom and that you would make yourself known to them. And we pray for ourselves as we turn shortly to your words, that you would speak to us, that your Holy Spirit would take your words and bring it home with power to each of our hearts, we ask. We pray it all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, our next song is the great hymn, Crown Him with Many Crowns. The video will come up next. <laughs> 